Hey you guys, this is Jake here. Um, here I'm got a video tutorial for you guys. It might be handy uh, depending on what you like to do on the computer. Um, what this is going to focus on is FFmpeg, and what that is is it's a command line tool. There's also a Windows like GUI front end for it if you're on Windows, but this is going to be focused on Linux Ubuntu especially. Um, but it's it's a command line tool that allows you to give an input an input file for example this uh, input file on my desktop um, that I recorded and I recorded with the software that I'm using right now desktop recorder for uh, or record my desktop for Ubuntu or Linux and you give it an input file you give it parameters such as a video codec and audio codec uh, different parameters for th such as those um, <clears throat> and it spits out an output file. Uh, in whatever format you choose using whatever video codec and a lot of times maybe it will um, maybe it will increase the file size that doesn't matter whatevs it's a lossless codec most of the codecs are lossless well actually I shouldn't say that because I don't know but I will show you a great codec to use um, but it's also good for uh, compressing files such as uh, the default you know file for record my desktop is .ogv and I compressed a 90 megabyte OGV file that I recorded um, it was like eight and a half minutes long and I using the command tool that I'm about to show you guys I was able to compress it losslessly to like 45 megabytes or something so like 50 percent decrease in size so it's awesome great for YouTube uh, you know it's still HD or at least the codec that I was using is HD and um, and it decreased the file size by half and I was I was astonished so I figured you know what I'm gonna make you guys a tutorial so without further ado let us get started the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to go to the website in the description it is <clears throat> it's a forum post on Ubuntu forums org and it, it it tells you how to install FFmpeg the correct way if you want to do it this the exact way that I'm doing um, it allows you to do um, to choose or the installation instructions will work for 1010, 1104, and 1110. And if you don't have either of those, there are links in the forum post to older version instructions for how to do this. But you want to follow these uh, instructions step by step. And what I did, what I did all of them. Yes, I, it looks like I did all of them. down through number seven I did all of them one through seven and you literally just paste the commands in your terminal if you're on 10.10 11.04 or 11.10 11.10 then you should be able to copy and paste these into your terminal uh, without any issues but do that once you finish that you can pause this video or whatever come back to it but once you finish that and FFmpeg will work correctly then I'm about to give you a command that you can use to essentially take this and take an input file that you record and especially if you want to do like YouTube stuff or whatever and so we have here and we're going to change this to uh, cannot type naturally when I'm like on the spot for a tutorial alright so we're on my desktop and I'm gonna give it FFmpeg. I'm going to give it my input file, which is input file.ogb. I typed org. That's funny. Um, we're going to type in the parameter v codec. And this is specifying what codec to use. Uh, and if you follow the instructions exactly as in that forum post that I linked to in the description, then you'll have the libx264 codec installed. You'll type in the pre. You don't have to type in this preset, but I do just because it. It does it super fast, hence the name, ultra fast preset. And yeah, okay. So the preset is ultra fast. So it doesn't lose like any quality, but it does this in less than a minute. Like, I don't even know. It's like 30 seconds, maybe 30, 45 seconds. I'm not sure. Um, for at least my eight and a half minute or eight and a half minute file. So anyway, yes, FFmpeg specifies that that's the application we want to use. Dash I and anything after that is then the input file so we have input file.ogv 
I, I as you can see I'm already at the desktop so I didn't have to put any path in front of this uh, V codec is specifies the video codec that I want to use to convert it or compress depending on I mean just convert we'll just say convert preset is ultra fast you should have that preset if you installed the instructions on the forum post that I linked to in the description and F is force file format so I want it to be an AVI okay and then after that I give my final dot AVI which is just the file name that I want my output source to have so once you've typed in all of that and according to your stuff press enter what it'll do is it will ultra quickly convert that file okay now let's go ahead and watch this file my actual one hey y'all this is just a crazy example of me playing with my windows with me compass fusion sticky stick sticky lovely windows so yeah that's enough of that so you can see that original one and then we'll play this final hey y'all this is just a crazy example of me playing with my windows with me there is literally like no difference between them none I mean it's it's awesome and it's HD if you upload it to YouTube okay P users will have a 720p option not only this but let's check this out if we go to properties that's a 41 megabyte file for oh wait 41 megabyte file for 25 seconds okay that's kinda big now we'll go to the output file it took it in half guys it took it in half for the same duration I mean that's awesome I can't get over that so if you guys have any questions I probably can't answer them if they have to do with the uh, forum post but like I said if you're running 1010 1104 or 1110 you shouldn't have any problems I didn't have any problems I literally just copied and pasted um, all of those commands um, one at a time you know this the make and then the configure the configure and the make and then you should be good to go after you do all seven of those um, but if you do have any questions I can try to answer them about the uh, using the FFmpeg in the command line uh, like I did earlier so that is my tutorial for you guys I hope you find it useful um, again comment rate subscribe and I will see you guys in a later tutorial alright peace